Good morning. Well, Jesus did it again, just as he had three years earlier. Here in John 21, we find the disciples in Galilee waiting for another revelation of the risen Jesus. But rather than sit around, they go fishing all night, but catch nothing until Jesus arrives and directs them to let down their nets. And when they hear Jesus as they had before and obey his word as they had before, once again, there is a miraculous catch of fish. So why did Jesus repeat the miracle? Well, one obvious reason was to again confirm that it was him risen from the dead. The supply of fish was the first miracle Jesus performed for them and it would be the final earthly miracle Jesus would perform for them. He's there to inspire their faith, their belief in him as Lord. His words do that for them and for us. Could we consider that for a moment? God's word, the Bible, is given to us to inspire our faith, our belief in Jesus as Lord. He speaks to us through his word. That is, we read the Bible and the Holy Spirit who has been given to us makes the words come alive to us as if we are hearing Jesus speak to us through the words we read. Just as Jesus spoke to his disciples and directed them to fishing, Jesus speaks to us and directs our lives. So please make the reading and listening of scripture, the memorizing and meditation of scripture a priority in your spiritual disciplines. Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Well, there's this interesting true story where the young Samuel promised to Hannah was presented to the Lord to be his servant. 1 Samuel 3, now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. A third time the Lord called Samuel, and Samuel got up and went to the priest Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. And thus began the prophetic ministry of Samuel. Now, I'm not a prophet, nor do I have the gift of prophecy, but I am a follower of Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Spirit. And he is teaching me. I'm learning to hear the Lord speak through his word. So I've picked up on that phrase. I often pray it as I'm reading the scriptures or in a time of prayer. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Why don't you say that? Pray that with me. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Again, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. The disciples listened to Jesus, obeyed him, and the repeat miracle happened. It revealed to them again the risen Jesus, and they went and dined with him. Today, listen for the Lord as he speaks and reveals himself to you through his word. Let's pray. Lord, forgive us when we're not paying attention to you, when we neglect or ignore your word. Today, we honor you and your word. Speak, for your servant is listening. And now offer your prayers. God bless you.